On August 9, 2022, the journal Geophysical Research Letters published research about the NASA Mars InSight mission. This mission is a stationary station, which mainly studied the red planet's seismic activity. However, the study focused on something else. Scientists from San Diego analyzed data on the composition of the upper 300 meters of the Mars soil and concluded that there is no frozen water on Mars. This small study destroyed decades of developments and our understanding of Mars. Once again, it brought scientists back to a paradox that has no explanation so far. Briefly, this paradox can be called the Cold Mars Paradox or the Paradox of Liquid Water. To understand it, let's go back a few billion years. For a long time, it was believed that water on Mars existed in liquid form somewhere about 3 billion years ago, during the Hesperian period and possibly earlier. There's a lot of evidence for this, from riverbeds to meteorites. For example, in 2020, the meteorite NWA7533, which fell from Mars to Earth, was found in the Sahara. Its age was estimated at 4.4 billion years. Moreover, the signs of oxidation were found in the meteorite, indicating that there was water on Mars. There are also other proofs. The Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter has been orbiting Mars since 2006 and has an excellent spectrometer. It easily analyzes the courses of ancient rivers and lakes and tells about the composition of sediments at the bottom. Then, NASA compared the antiquity of the craters from which the samples were taken and shifted the date of the appearance of water further and further. There is reason to believe that water appeared on Mars as much as 4.6 billion years ago, almost simultaneously on Earth. There's only one catch. 4.5 billion years ago, the Sun was much weaker, according to calculations even about 25 to 30 percent weaker. If we now weaken the sun to such indicators, the average temperature on Earth would be minus 7 degrees. Consequently, there couldn't be any liquid water except at the equator, and even then with admixtures of salt. This is another paradox, the so-called weak young sun paradox. Somehow, four and a half billion years ago, when the sun was much weaker than it is now, the Earth was very warm, liquid water flowed, and that's how conditions for life were created. Although in those days, our planet received about the same amount of heat from the sun as Mars does now. However, in zircons nearly four and a half billion years old found in the Jack Hills of Australia in 2015, they found signs of interaction with water and a little later, carbon of biological origin. Elizabeth Bell, the research author, unequivocally stated that primitive life on Earth was somewhere 4.1 billion years ago and the water was even earlier. All this existed in conditions of 25 to 30 percent weaker sun. Scientists are trying to solve this paradox to this day. They are promising developments associated with the high amount of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere and the Earth's weak magnetic field at that time. But what about Mars? Water appeared on Mars almost at the same time as the Earth. This is logical because at the moment, it is believed that it was at least partially brought to our planet by asteroids. In 2014, Japanese Hayabusa probe took soil samples from the asteroid Ryugu. On August 15, 2022, a study was published confirming that the asteroid's soil contains building blocks for both organic matter and water. Therefore, theoretically, water on Earth could have appeared due to the bombardment of asteroids, which were continuous 4 billion years ago. Traces of the late heavy bombardment are visible even now. Most of the craters on the Moon were formed just because of it. Therefore, it is pretty logical to assume that Mars had also benefited from asteroids at that time. Thus, water could have appeared there also due to them. The only issue is that Mars is even further from the Sun than Earth. More precisely, one and a half times further. As a result, even now, it receives 40% less heat from the Sun than our planet. And four and a half billion years ago, everything was even worse when the Sun was 30% cooler. In the case of the Earth, manipulations with the greenhouse effect, the magnetic field, and the tidal influence of the Moon are usually carried out to solve the paradox. Our satellite, for example, was located much closer to the planet, causing huge tidal tsunamis, magma movements, and other cataclysms that warm the Earth. Also, there is evidence that our planet's magnetic field was weaker 4.5 billion years ago. Consequently, the solar wind blew the Earth more effectively. In 2020, a 2.7 billion year old meteorite was analyzed. Since the stone passed through the atmosphere, a kind of cast remained in it, which showed California scientists that the carbon dioxide content of the Earth's atmosphere was 70%. Now this figure is four hundredths of a percent. 
It is possible to find a compromise solution to the presence of liquid water on Earth under conditions of a weak sun. But everything is more complicated with Mars. It has no large satellite and almost no data on the magnetic field. To calculate the greenhouse effect, we have to come up with crazy numbers that can provide the temperature necessary for liquid water. In the past, Mars had a Venus-like atmosphere, insanely dense, poisonous, and making the surface hot as hell. It's not entirely clear how the water didn't evaporate under such conditions. The situation is aggravated by the fact that the water on Mars evaporated or froze not at once. All data indicate that liquid water on Mars existed for at least a billion years. Until 2021, studies by NASA and other scientists unanimously stated that liquid water flowed across the surface of Mars until about 3 billion years ago, meaning the atmosphere and conditions were fairly stable for at least a billion years. A dozen scientific papers were written on the subject. The theory of the greenhouse effect was applied, and the problem seemed to be solved. And then, the Chinese rover Zhurong came into the picture. It was launched to the Mars surface in 2021, and unlike most NASA rovers, the Chinese rover was sent to work in a younger region. Perseverance, Curiosity, and most other spacecraft are researching Mars's ancient history. Scientists were surprised when three different scientific instruments of Zhurong at once found traces of interaction with liquid water and minerals 700 million years old. Previously, the Amazonian geological era was considered completely dry. Only the existence of underwater water in liquid form was allowed, but not surface water, because current climate models show that Mars dried up several billion years ago. Basically, everything has become even more confusing. Scientists have decided to take a step back and simply summarize everything we know about Mars. The presence of water in the form of ice on it is denied only by flat earthers. In 2007, the Phoenix device photographed it point blank. And in 2021, the Trace Gas Orbiter's friend neuron detector spotted a giant accumulation of ice at the bottom of the Mariner Valley. The Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter we mentioned earlier also detected huge amounts of ice. According to modern estimates, now there is enough of it on Mars to cover the entire surface of the red planet with a liquid ocean 35 meters deep. This is not questionable. The only issue is that none of the available climate models answer the question of where Mars had plenty of water when the sun was 30% weaker. Now, when the conditions seem to improve, there is no such water. First, the scientific community again took up the notorious carbon dioxide and again calculated the volumes required for the greenhouse effect 4.5 billion years ago. The theory looks logical because even now the atmosphere of Mars is 95% CO2. Also, carbon dioxide can be found in the form of ice at the poles. Allegedly, there was even more of it a long time ago. But then Mars lost its atmosphere and cooled down. The theory looked great until the Curiosity rover broke it down. In 2017, data from its trips to Gale Crater was published, in which the rover looked at the remains of something similar to an ancient lake. Thanks to spectrography, the age was quickly determined to be between 3.8 and 3.1 billion years old. That is at the time when liquid water was in abundance on Mars. Next, similar to how scientists measured CO2 levels on Earth, Scientists took data from the rover to compile a cast and find out how much carbon dioxide was on Mars then. The data showed that it was less than required for the greenhouse effect, allowing water to exist in a liquid state. Precisely, Mars needed one bar of pressure from carbon dioxide. Curiosity data showed that, in reality, the pressure was several tens of times less. That is, CO2 was insufficient to heat the atmosphere and melt water. But at the same time, there were traces of this very liquid water in all the same sediments. The scientific community has hit the wall again with overclocking. The only positive news from Curiosity was that already three and a half billion years ago, Mars was rapidly losing its atmosphere. In other words, we can explain why there's no water on it now, but why it was there, not really. And for the final touch, the rover got the scientists' attention by finding traces of oxygen on Mars, which also appears in the atmosphere fairly cyclically. This data goes into the coin box of the mystery of life on Mars. Well, our water paradox continues to be in suspense. Relatively recent models, built in recent years, poured out that there should be a lot of frozen water everywhere under the Mars surface. However, these have been destroyed by the InSight station data we discussed at the beginning of the video. This doesn't mean that scientists are charlatans, our climate models don't work, and billions have been wasted. Instead, 
The Mars Paradox demonstrates how much we still have to learn about how planets form, the climate, and how life originates. So, if you thought you were born late to conquer the oceans, but early to conquer the cosmos, don't worry. Instead, sit down, read textbooks, and dive into science. Plenty of paradoxes and epical discoveries about space exist. See you later, friends.